I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Welcome to Medieval Dynasty, the story of Rasamir and Medieval How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Alright, so here's to hoping everything uh, goes well because I've restarted this recording like several times now because of several different issues. So, what am I doing? I am playing Medieval Dynasty and it is slightly modified. I have increased the amount of days that um, are in a season and I've upped the XP, the XP gain in order to um, speed up progression a little bit. Otherwise, it's it's the the seasons go too fast and the days uh, the the XP gain is too slow. Um, so let's uh, check it out. This is the updated medieval dynasty, and um, we'll see what is is all heading with the new updates and the new stuff that's been added, things like I think it's horses and stuff like that new animals all this kind of stuff and they've made some changes to the dialogue and all that interesting stuff so just gathering some stuff here I really hate the hold to just pick it up. I just want to press it once. Don't want to hold. I mean, like this is one thing I, I wish they would change. Anyway, where are we? We're right outside Gustovia, and we need to go into the village and go and. Uh, Speak to the Castellan, who's the uh, local representative of the king. He's the one that collects the taxes and um, controls land ownership. All right. As you can see, I've already got some skill unlocks. I put that into survival knowledge. Most skills I'm getting in any of these uh, skill trees is going to go into the knowledge. Excuse me. That's going to go into the into the knowledge uh, skill. Skill trees start with uh, three basic skills that are available to you, and then obviously as you unlock one of these 
to its fullest potential so you know the other ones will unlock but uh, all, all of these uh, first ones like the crafting knowledge survival knowledge diplomacy knowledge farming hunting and extraction they all up this the XP that you gain already I know there was some funkiness with the sound in the intro I'm not sure what that's about I think the the game sound is actually clipping let's get some plantain uh, this is useful for healing there's some more of that small stone okay villages this way it's also new flowers in the game as well dandelions daisies chicory then if you can actually make coffee um also herbalism potions healing potions all that kind of stuff so it's proper like medieval fantasy me with my felt schooner on wearing my um my felt shoes Okay. more skill in survival two points this time there we go and my survival knowledge is now already 15 percent faster okay there's daisies small dandelions That almost looked like another plant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unlocked uh, technology now. So that allows you to build a hunting lodge and once I build a hunting lodge I can learn a stone spear, a bow, stone arrows, bird trap, wooden campfires. Where's this guy? There he is. The, those eyes I didn't think I would see them again one blue is the sky and the other black as a lump of coal hey you alright you look like you've seen a ghost so you aren't one good for a second there I thought I'd lost it she uh, I can't the, 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 the noise in the background it's just killing me now. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, you must have been mistaken with someone new. I'm new to these parts. Just arrived at the valley, actually. My name's Rasimir. I'm Wonder Son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? How did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. Don't think I understand. You will. Wait. Uh, what do you mean by did? I know her. She is well. I hope she is now. Wherever that may be, I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this war. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Yeah, I don't worry really about it. Of course, 
Um, you mentioned my uncle Jordan. I actually came looking for him. Oh, Rasmus, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Jordan has no longer with us. He's passed away three years ago. So sorry. I understand you must feel. Uh, he was a dear friend of mine. Oh no, what happened? Don't worry, he died peacefully in his sleep. He didn't suffer, I can promise you that. Well, that's a change to the previous one. Previously, he died in a bandit attack. So, that's quite a change. So, what should I do now? You're free to go wherever you like, start a new life. You have a grant your permission the castle to build a farm. Mm, sorry, my ears are blocked. Ah, uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Um, <laughs> put a farm on any unutilized. Now he stops with the bloody noise. Uh, any unutilized land in the valley? Construct yourself a house and see what comes next. You can even build a whole village. So just like that, the land's free of charge. Uh, you still have to pay taxes, but apart from that, you uh, free to do as you please. Sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful. Uh, let's see what's it's all for me. So, yeah, you grab some rocks and sticks and uh, make an axe. With that, you can chop down trees and make a hammer. Uh, when you bought yourself a home, come back to Costovia and talk to my wife, uh, Dabrnika. And she's a tavern, she'll ask her to feed you and bring her spears for the rest. Sounds like a plan. Right. Okay, I already know how to collect resources, I already know how to collect trees. You! Could you possibly make any more noise? Freaking hell. Okay. Now. There is a nice area I've identified over here or setting up um, a village. So we're just going to get there. Okay, this is the area that I was talking about. It's already quite nice and open. So crafting is done by holding down Q key and using the radio menu. So I'm going to make one of those. Another one of these. All right, it's time to chop down some trees. Okay, I'm getting over encumbered now. Let's build a hammer. And build a house. Need one more log. Skills and extraction. A nice uh, south facing house. Wood walls, 
Six stones, two logs. Uh, actually, let's go on the stone wall. Stones shouldn't be a problem. get everything chopped up before it starts getting dark. This wood. No. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I can't harvest that. What can I harvest with this? Stone six stone. Go away, your notification stuff. Oh, I am over encumbered. Mushrooms. Some of the dandelion and the daisy. So you see the little uh, green and blue circles now? The boosts from the dandelion and from the daisy.
Yeah, so building survival knowledge some sense and extraction knowledge. All right, the house is coming along nicely. I think this is where I'm going to end it for now, and then I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe buttons, and uh, join us on the Discord. Love to speak to you. All right, see you in the next episode.